everyone welcome to the next video in this series from Ivy and the Inky Butterfly by Johanna Basford and we are colouring um, all these um, pretty brooches and we're doing this one here today so it's come in nice and close and we're using polychromos pencils I think I forgot to say yesterday what I was using until about three quarters of the way through the video which wasn't particularly useful there we go now this is quite a strange and interesting looking brooch so let's just look at what we've got let's break it down so we've got big gemstone here we've got what I think are little gemstones around here now around this edge I think we've got more little gemstones here but this what is that I've got no clue and it looks like it's turned over at the end as if it's a leaf do you think it's supposed to be like a, a flower with sort of leaves I have no idea so what I think I'm going to do is start with these gemstones then the background here I think will be a metal and here and then I'm thinking maybe these will be green metallic with those little dots might be a dark green gemstone I think that's how I think I might approach it so I'm not entirely sure so let's start with these gemstones now we did red yesterday we're not going to do red today um we could do a sort of violet yes let's do that um mm. I'm thinking do we do them all the same color let's do the center one with the mauve this is our darkest violet that isn't a bluey shade and let's make a start now the center of this one I'm tempted to do similar to that I think that I was quite pleased with how that came out oh, let's get the back in the middle ish there we go so I'm thinking the angle I quite like this angle but I don't know whether that's the right angle to do but let's do it like that it really doesn't look very impressive but until you do the rest now these side pieces I'm going to make them darker here and then lighter up because I feel like this is higher up and so there'd be more shadow on the bottom of these now there'd be more shadow on those than those but um i'm going to not do them all exactly the same so this one i'm going to try and do a little bit lighter i don't know if it looks that much lighter and this one even lighter that does look lighter and then a darker one here it's a bit random but i think it looks a bit more sort of realistic which it doesn't look realistic by any stretch but then doing them all the same mm, I think that works but I'm not sure now these ones I've decided I'm just going to treat as if they're circular I'm going to ignore this cross and circle because I don't really know what it's trying to do um, it could be like a closed thing with a jewel in the middle like a clasp or something but I'm afraid it's just going to turn into a circular gemstone like that. So really dark on the edge, a bit less in the middle. I'm hoping there's an even number there is. So I'm going to do every other one because I'm going to change it up a little bit with the colour, not hugely, just a little bit. So they could be all the same colour, but they won't be. Oops. Now I could go darker or lighter with the other colour. Um, I haven't decided because I could go with a blue violet, which is a bit darker, a bit more bluey, obviously, <laughs> hence the name. Or I could go lighter with a violet. And I don't think it's going to make a huge difference. And what I thought I would do was in this section here, I used a colour I don't use for that. So I'm going to do these three with this one. I'm keeping it really simple. 
there's quite a lot going on so I think if we keep the colours simple it makes it a bit easier on the eye it also makes it easier for me <laughs> and you so uh, that's part of the idea and that one I don't if you go wrong and do the wrong one you've got two choices you could erase and then do the color the color that I'm going to do or you could just do the whole lot in the same color no one's gonna know that uh, I think it would look completely fine you know no one wants well maybe they do I don't wouldn't want lots of different colors I've gone way out the lines there so I'm going to go lighter because this has got lighter areas in it so that's that's how I'm thinking so I'm going to use the violet the problem with the violet is it's a little bit um milky in color so I'm not sure if it's going to look quite so gemstony but I hope that once I put a little bit of white pen on for shine it will work it's a rather nice colour. You can see that it's slightly different, which is good. That's what I want. You could use the purple violet if you want one that's slightly closer. They're quite similar colours, to be honest. So, yeah. I hope everyone's doing well today. Maybe some of you are colouring along. Maybe some of you are going to have a go later. Hope you're all relaxed, comfortable, just sitting back, enjoying. Maybe you've got a drink. I've got a drink next door. Um, you know, just relax your body a bit. Sit back in your chair. Even if you're colouring, you can relax. I often forget to relax my shoulders back. Um, I, help, I sort of hold stress in two parts of my body really, shoulders and tummy. Relaxing my shoulders is quite easy, I find. Just try and just let them sink down a little bit. Relaxing my tummy is harder. But uh, I try. It's strange, my friend has a theory that um, we all hold stress in parts different parts of our body and I think she's right and that it can affect us some people get headaches you know that sort of thing okay I think I'm gonna do the green next it's the bit I'm scared of so I'm gonna do it next um, I want uh, one that's gonna look metallic and I'm either gonna go I think I'm gonna Go for the dark fallow green. I think that's going to work. I like the sort of more bluey greens together with a purple. And I think the bluey greens somehow are easier to look metallic. I don't know if that makes any sense. Now, I am thinking that this is a curl. So what I mean is, let me just show you. So we've got a piece of paper here. So I think it's turned over like that. That's how I'm imagining that. So, just picked up the wrong pencil. Let's put that away so I don't colour with it. It's a, it's a graphite pencil. So I'm going to do these curly bits first. So I'm imagining it'd be quite light. Just a little bit here. A little bit here and it's catching the light there. So I'm just going to go around and do that really gently. Yeah, as much as I find colouring can be relaxing do have to try and sometimes if I'm doing monotonous colouring I mean you know say something all the same colour in a big area I do find my thoughts can get in the way you know and it isn't as relaxing as it should be so I have to remind myself to, uh, to you know to concentrate on the colouring and use mindfulness rather than using the quiet time to dwell on things now I'm going to go in, I want dark under here because there'd be shadow and I'm going to immediately start to fade it. I'm going to colour over these, we're going to go over the top of them in a bit. It's too difficult, they're too small to leave white for now. And then I want a sort of shine here. I 
just going to go over that a bit more. If this shadow isn't enough, I might put a bit of black in there or a bit of darker green. Yeah, I'm going to do that on all of them. So yes, if your mind starts to wander, try and concentrate on what you're colouring. Or do something, I don't know, try and think about something productive. Put some music on or something in the background, something like that, a video. That might help. What, I, uh, what was quite interesting was we had a power cut the other day. And I got out, I thought, right, I can't, it was dark-ish, I, I could colour, which I did a bit, but I actually used it as an opportunity to brainstorm some ideas down on a piece of paper. And I don't, normally when my, when my computer's on, I'm distracted by so many things that I don't get to sort of have that clarity of thought, because there's various social media things going on that I'm checking and looking at, I'm... That gap's too big. Um, you know, people might be messaging me, which is all fine and nice, but, you know, it it's it just is constant. It's a constant. You get emails, you're editing, you're, you know, whatever it might be. So to have that taken away, it was quite interesting, and it just gave me the opportunity to give some thought to future projects something a bit different maybe you know one of my projects has had a bit of a setback it doesn't matter so uh they might not even happen it's just you know things that i'm thinking of so uh, it's quite fun i think i'm not very good with innovative ideas despite the fact that i guess i'm an entrepreneur because i've run a business since since mm, 2001 maybe 2002 doing various different things so I started off writing ebooks I did blogging finance blogging um, then I sold books and then I became a freelance writer and then I um, now YouTubing, I find when you run your own business you have to keep changing what you're doing because demand changes. I've gone to the deep cobalt green and I'm going to do the circles as if they're a little gemstone. So it's going to be quite dark. I can't really, I'd like to make them darker on the edge and the centre. It just isn't really the room. You could if you tried really, really hard. I'm going to keep it chilled. We can put a dot of white on there and hopefully that will help with that illusion. So I've sort of moved to various different things. Um, oh, I used to sell prints and ebooks as well. You know, lots of different, um, different things going on. Right, our setting, I feel silver is going to go much better with this than a gold. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do it slightly differently to last time, just so we get a bit of a, you know, try something else. So I'm going to use the cold grey 6, which is our darkest cold grey to start with. Now, for me, looking at this design, it looks like this bit is slightly below this bit. I don't know if you get that idea. So I'm going to put in some shadows with this. So I'm thinking here, all the way around on this edge. Now, I'm trying my best to just fade it in a bit. Oh, we ought to do in there as well. A little bit. Cool, that's a teeny base. And then just go all the way around it's doing the same thing over and over so yeah I've kept I've tried and tried to try different things to make a bit of money I haven't made loads but I meant I could work from home stay with the kids home with the children you know and sometimes I was part-time sometimes I was full-time 
the moment with the videos I'm working more than full time I'm probably yeah but I'm enjoying it I think if I was oops if I was working full time I would probably be able to do a video a day so I'm working extra I think that bit was purple where I went out of the line it doesn't matter but I am having fun so uh, that's the main thing I wouldn't put in all the hours if I wasn't I've always enjoyed I'm thinking that edge as well needs a dark line I've always enjoyed what I've done work-wise um, when I've been self-employed and um, when I've had a more regular job sometimes I've done things that haven't been quite so happy but in all jobs I've learned having done a fair bit of temporary work so I've done lots of different jobs you come to realize there's good and bad in every job there's always going to be times when you don't feel quite so keen Oops. Um, I'm going to jump down to the cold grey four Next. you know whether you're in self-employed or not there's always going to be things that aren't so good I'm going to finish off this outside bit and then do make a start on that after so I'm just going to extend this up to here and you can see the difference in the lighter bit of grey I'm just going to yeah I didn't really want to completely fill in that bit but it's too small for me not to I think here I'm just going to put a bit there so I'm trying to put a little bit on the edges of everything where there might be a bit of shadow but I also want to leave some white to show the shine of the silver as best I can you don't need large areas just enough to trick the eye so basically we're trying to trick the eye by leaving some white and trying to tell the eye that that's a reflection and sometimes it can be more effective than other times I think it partly depends on the way the picture is drawn and whoever's looking at it too so you sort of are interpreting it but I use a cold grey for silver because it looks more silvery compared to a brown or grey right so there's our outside edge now in here I think we'll go a bit lighter I might just do maybe just around the edge like there'd be a bit of shadow hopefully that will make this look like it's standing up from the um, base a little bit I think it does already and I might should I do that around then yeah maybe maybe all around each one I can hear a really odd noise <laughs> actually I think I know what they're working on the railway lines I think um, near us it might be that it might might because it's quite a distant sort of humming so it could be some equipment quite near the railway we're lucky the way our house faces although we don't face the canal the railway runs parallel to the canal so if we were facing the canal the trains are a lot louder because the houses between us and the canal sort of block the train noise like when I'm in my neighbor's house which is sort of opposite the canal when a train goes by you have to stop talking because you can't hear yourself you can't hear the telly if the, especially if the outside doors open but in our house it's not that loud this is cold grey too I can usually hear the horn of the train more than anything else now I've got to decide where do I leave the white bit I think I'm just going to not have any here we'll go around the edge you may decide you'd like to leave a bit there I can always put a few dots of white with pen anyway if I feel it needs it after my book's moving along 
and I'm just going to extend this a tiny bit and around here and just leave a bit in there I'm not sure. I'm going to put the white on and then decide. So actually I'm going to use my smaller jelly roll if I can find it. It's hiding. I've got two eights, a ten and a five. I don't know why I've got two eights. This is number five and I'm going to use it on these because it's a small enough. Let me just move that pen out of the way. It's going to leave a smaller dot. If it wants to leave a dot at all, let's just scribble it a bit. Come on, pen. There we go. So just a little dot. Still enough to show, but not, not too much. hope you can see. I don't really know if you can. With the um, 08 I'm going to do the rest. So I'm going to do these on the edge. You could white out those lines. I don't, I've never known what they are. I don't know if they're supposed to be facets but it, the stone is just a bit too small to worry about facets. So sort of always ignored it. I'm trying to put the shine on the same side all the way around but the pen isn't writing too well. It's always good to follow the curve of the circle. It seems to make sense. Now this shine isn't going to tie up with the shine on the other one next to it, but I'm not too worried. The light's hitting it all from that side, apart from the centre one. I don't know what my thinking is. Now I'm going to get rid of that a bit around here as well, like we did a bit on the other one. Mm. I might just... Yeah. Go down here now use a flick and then you might put down more paint at the top than the bottom so it's still a bit darker at the bottom which helps give that 3d look it might not um, it's quite small so it's quite hard to get that working i'm just checking if i i knew my pen wasn't writing very well at some point here it's quite difficult going over white because if it's not fully dry it will just rub it off. But this seems to be dry and also if you put it on too thickly it looks a bit weird. So it's just getting it just right. Isn't always easy but do our best like there. I don't want to split line. There we go. I think that will do for that one. So hopefully it looks a little bit jewelly and shiny. Maybe, maybe more bead-like than jewel-like but that's okay. Right I'm gonna go and get a drink. Maybe you need one too. Look after yourselves. Um, have a really lovely day. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. All those things are all very useful. Thank you so much for your support. As I say have a super day and happy colouring.